Hey guys, I'm just a freak and let's talk about the new manga put out by Hiroya Oku, the same mangaka that did Gantz, a well-known series in the community and also Inuyashiki, a series that was pretty good and uh, way shorter that, than Gantz. So yeah, this time we got it from Seven Seas, as you can see here in this small format. I personally prefer it in a, in a format like this and it's priced out at uh, 14 US dollar so yeah it's quite quite pricey but uh, I don't know maybe maybe it's the content maybe it's the mangaka being so well known anyway look look for a sale when you try to get it now let's talk a little bit about the story because I just um, finished this and I can say that this could be a hit and miss for a lot of you guys out there because as I see this uh, this story this manga even so you it may get you interested and you're gonna continue to get it and so on or you just will read a little bit of it and you will just pass it over because it's pretty edgy and when I say that uh, one of the main character, this uh, girl over here, she's an actual porn star. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I, I can see some people not being uh, interested in a story that has that kind of uh, that that kind of content in it. But anyway, it's the fact that she's a porn star only kind of relates with uh, another set of characters that. We get to meet here another character that is a high school student who also wants to be a movie producer and who's a big fan of her. So if you're if you decide not to read this just because of that, uh, at least from this first volume, don't uh, don't just uh, take that into consideration because, as I said, or did I? It, it has the same vibe as Gantz or Inuyashiki. It seems like a sci-fi story uh, the whole Japan I feel like it's gonna be hit by a huge shitstorm and uh, from what I read so far it's it's quite uh, it's it's quite interesting it's quite at least it's not a miss for me because these kind of stories uh, like Gans for example it's so messed up in some ways and it's so weird sometimes and the characters could, can be so awkward or they could be such pieces of um, human feces at some points that you, I don't know, you just want to stick there to see what happens to them and so on and so on and that's also true for this series and when you read the first volume you're gonna see why but again I don't see Gantz even if it's that well known that's something that's for all of you out there and I think that this is even more of a hit and miss so where the title come, comes from uh, Gigant except from her huge rack that's kind of I know uh, in focus in, <laughs> in some parts of the first volume uh, yeah, she, uh, this manga is called Gigant because uh, she can actually transform into a huge person. I'm not gonna tell you why, I'm not gonna tell you uh, how and stuff like that because I don't want to spoil it, but she gets that uh, ability and I don't even know why exactly. Well, I, it left me with the impression that it's going to be fun. Now, let's see a little bit of the art. Um, we also get some color pages at the beginning of the book, and that's always nice. This is the other main character, the high school student who wants to become a movie producer. And the story kind of starts off with him trying to... Uh, 
to um, to get some actors, some colleagues of him, some students to convince them to play in a movie uh, made by him so that he can submit it to a contest and stuff like that. And of course with him buying a DVD with uh, a poor movie where she stars in because he's a big fan. And um, the art is uh, what you normally would expect from this mangaka. Pretty good art, really realistic. I think it that it's done uh, on the PC. I, it's not something, from what I know, at least co uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, it's not something that's hand drawn, but I always enjoyed it. And what I'm trying to say, I think that this is a bigger hit and miss than Gantz. But if you like Gantz, give it a try. And if you're putting this off because you heard that the main character is uh, a porn star, uh, that's not the focus of this manga. At least I didn't got that vibe from the first volume and from where it's getting at. So if you if you like uh, his uh, his stuff so far also also try this series if you don't like ants I, I don't think that you're gonna like this one to be to be, to be honest because it, it has a similar vibe to it uh, yeah that was kind of it uh, for me it was uh, it was a hit not a miss I liked it I liked it pretty much, it ended in a cliffhanger and uh, now I'm sad that I don't have the second volume in and probably I'm gonna go to uh, order it online after after this video. So yeah, I hope you liked it. So if you read it, let me know what you think about it and um, if not, just let me know what you think about, uh, about this series overall. If you're trying to pick it up or not and if you want to see more uh, think about subscribing to the channel and if you really liked it why not leave a like it helps a lot okay guys see you in my next video and until then go read your manga bye bye